hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel crypto kegama in this video i want to show you how to use the easy pay global and also use the binance p2p to make a successful trade okay so many people can easily fund their easy pay global wallet and they find it difficult to sell it by themselves. okay so in this video i will show you how to impute all the details and carry out the transfer and i'll also show you which country is more profitable and which amount of transaction are you going to make to avoid high charges okay so guys in my previous classes i explained how to use this that is transfer to mobile money okay and then apart from the easy pay to easy pay wallet transfer okay so in today's video i want to talk about this transfer to bank okay so in this transfer to bank i will show you how to go to the binance and filter out the type of banks you are going to be transferring to as this global wallet is a truly global wallet because it supports many payment gateways okay so guys let's dive into the video if this is your first time of coming to my channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like okay guys okay guys in this place i want to show you something okay so firstly after clicking on transfer to bank this is where you have to click in order to add your beneficiary details okay so this is a guy i have carried out transaction with recently okay so the reason why i want to show you this face is that i want to show you the charges you are going to be charged okay so as you can see here if you impute hundred dollars you are going to be charged three dollars for this hundred dollar okay so this is why it is advisable for you to be using hundred dollars above if you want to use the binance p2p okay and make your transfer because of the charges as you can see here the charges in hundred dollar is only three dollar okay so if you are using guys if you want to send like 19 dollar okay so that 19 dollar is not going out directly okay so you must impute like 17 yes 17 dollar okay so plus their charges around three dollar you see so it will cover up the your 19 dollar that is you are going to impute like 16 point something like this okay i will show you all in this video so the charges in 16 usdt will be 3 usdt okay so as you can see 3 usdt for 16 usdt your profit will be very small that is your profit will be around 2100 okay so but if you are sending 100 dollar the whole charge here is three dollar okay and if you are sending out that is one thousand dollar your charges is going to be twelve dollar all in all okay so as you can see so sending higher amount is more important that is why many people can be buying it from others and then sell it at once if you say you can be selling it for each transaction you made you are going to be making a very small amount of profit okay so i'll show you how to add all these details because it will not bring you to this phase if you did not add the beneficiary detail. so you need to go to the binance and get the beneficiary detail in order to add okay so guys as you can see so in future hundred dollar this is the charge i'm going to be encountering that is three dollar okay so the main important thing here is this one thousand that is eleven thousand as you can see this eleven thousand six hundred and seventy two okay so this is the amount you are going to be this is the amount you are going to be imputing in the binance which is going to be giving you this amount you are sending and you know you are not going to be getting the same amount you are going to be getting like 93 dollar for sending 100 dollar out of your easy pay. okay so let me take you step by step okay guys in order to add a beneficiary you need to go to the binance and look for a merchant you want to place the order that is based on the available amount in your easy pay global wallet okay so as you can see here this merchant his name is Ezra Rono okay so this is his bank account number I'm going to copy this bank account number okay that is before adding beneficiary okay so this is the bank name I'm going to search for this bank name in the list of the bank available on the easy pay global wallet okay so right now let's go and click the add beneficiary on our easy pay global wallet okay so as you can see here this hundred dollar it is going to be charged three dollar for sending so in totality this three that is hundred and three dollar will be deducted okay so i need to click this add beneficiary as you can see 
after clicking add beneficiary i will select individual beneficiary and the country i'm going to be using is kenya as you can see as it's more profitable currently so the bank name here you can see is equity bank okay so I'll now search for equity bank so as you can see all of the bank are available here don't be confused okay so there is another bank called there is echo bank so you is they used to write ecb on binance so don't write ecb write echo bank kenya you can see it here okay so right now we are dealing with equity bank and we are going to click on it so as you can see here this is equity bank then we are going to copy the account number and paste it okay so as you can see so this is the account number okay so beneficiary name we are going to search and check again so as you can see it's ezra rono okay you can input anything you want uh in the beneficiary name just the one you will be organizing easily okay because you, the wallet is going to be saving these names that you are going to be using each transaction you make if the bank the wallet is going to be saving the name of the base in your transact with okay so as you can see here the base name and the second name i'm including the same thing as you can see this beneficiary address you input a word of your choice okay so as you can see here this is what i'm imputing and you also need to input your email address okay so in this email email address space you are also going to input your own email address so this beneficiary phone number you're going to just input a phone numbers yes it is not just necessary it must not be quality you know okay so as you can see here this is the account number and he accept no third party okay so this is the rule okay so as you can see after this relationship as you can see you select just personal relationship okay so the beneficiary identification number you select other is the id type you select national id type, okay so as you can see here all these these expiry dates you just select like just 2027 2025 so any date of your choice as you can see okay so you input the date as you can see okay expiry date of the id so then you click on submit okay so as you can see here i did not impute this select this remittance purpose so this remittance purpose don't select anything that is involving government just select business yes business expenses okay as you can see right now i've clicked submit the beneficiary information has been saved right now okay so as you can see i will still select the country again here okay so the country i'm using i'm dealing with right now is kenya okay so as you can see so after I selecting the country, it is now giving me the opportunity to input the amount of that is USD I'm going to be dealing with. Okay, that is why it is very important to go to the Binance first and look for a merchant that suits your that is that suits your demand. Okay, yes, a merchant that suits your demand. You can see. So guys as you can see i will not select the country again since my beneficiary information has been saved okay so this is kenya okay so after i click in this it will give me all the kenya beneficiary i have saved okay so i will now click on this and look for that person i'm going to be dealing with okay okay so right now i will click on this select beneficiary okay i will see the list of the beneficiaries i have dealt with on this on this my wallet okay so as you can see this is the guy i have just saved this rono rono so you can see all the detail i have now confirmed it so i'll now impute the amount i want to be sending so as you can see here imputing hundred dollar attracts three dollar charges as you can see okay so as you can see here these are the charges so this amount eleven thousand six hundred and seventy two kenyan shilling is going to be sent so look at here $1,000 as you can see $1,000 the charges here is 12 USD okay you can see the charges here is 12 USD so you see the higher amount you're using the lesser the charges they are going to be applying for you okay so that is why we are buying these to gather them on our wallet and sell them at once to make huge profit okay but if you are selling in pieces selling $19 $16 you are going to be charged three dollar for each transaction and you see that will be absorbing your profits okay 
like you can see here you can set the amount you want to be sending okay i'll show you all the everything as you can see you input the correct amount you want to be sending here okay okay so as you can see right now you input your account description okay so the, in this account description you can put payment for service payments just anything business transaction okay so after imputing these payments your account description then you click on submit as you can see okay so right now i'll be imputing only payment as you can see so i'll now click on submit and see if this transaction is going to be successful okay so this is all you need to do in order to carry out your your transaction using the binance p2p okay using the binance p2p and you see all the necessary advices and guide i have stated follow them gently as you can see okay so right now after clicking submit i will now confirm if this is information are correct as you can see everything here is what i have imputed correctly okay so i'll now click on confirm and this transaction is going so as you can see here the service is temporarily disabled so as you can see they are carrying out maintenance from time to time due to the high number of patients as you can see okay so as you can see if today the service is that good this transaction is going to be successful and i will mark this payment as done okay so guys make sure you subscribe to my channel see you in my next video okay thank you